Okay, hello everybody. Today we are going to start chapter 2. It is uh, forest and wildlife resources. And the very first term in this chapter we have uh, biodiversity. So let's check it out. Biodiversity, if we divide this term, we can divide it into biological diversity. Okay, so it means, okay, let's go through its definition. All the variety of life that can be found on earth okay here it means it can be plants it can be animals even we even the small microorganisms also okay it can be anything so whatever is present on our earth as well as all the communities that they form and the habitants in which they live it means each and everything which is present on our earth comes under biodiversity or we can say biological diversity because here we are talking about different varieties doesn't matter it is a plant or an animal or even a small microorganisms okay now here we have some categories of different species which are present on our earth so i have uh, enlisted some of them let's move to it okay before moving there before moving to these species here i have uh, uh, underlined a uh, word that is habitat which we discussed in the definition of biodiversity. So in simple words, this habitat means a natural home or environment of an animal, plant or other organisms. It means the way people make home in the same way the open home, the, especially the forest, uh, the way animals are living. So that is known as habitat. It means it's a natural home or the open environment is known as habitat. Okay. Now come to the, our own topic that is categorization of different species. Here we have, uh, I have made six categories. So you can go through your books also, you will get as it is. Now first one is normal species. It means that these are the species. Uh, okay, here we are talking about plants and animals both. Okay, species doesn't mean animals. Here, since here we are talking about flora and fauna both. Okay, both like animals and plants both. So here we are, these are the species which are already uh, uh, like uh, their population is okay in our uh, earth it means we need not to save them they are in uh, proper amount they are in abundant abundant amount and which are uh, like uh, uh, like their number is satis uh, like their number is quite a satisfaction number so we need not to save them like for example uh, our cattle or pine pines rodents okay so these are already uh, good in number we need not to think about to save them so there comes under normal species. Next we have endangered. It means like uh, their number is uh, quite less already and the way their uh, reduction is going on, the way their number is decreasing, if it will go in the same way, very soon uh, situation will come when they won't uh, like uh, in nature, you won't be able to see these uh, type of species. For example, like we know black bugs, hope you, have heard of, hope you all have heard about black bugs, uh, Indian wild asses, uh, mountain go uh, gorillas or the sea turtles, hope you know like um, hunting of these species are also not allowed because they are already very very less in number. Next we have vulnerable, means uh, like they are also very less in number but if we compare, if we compare in between endangered and vulnerable, Comparatively, they are little more than endangered, but the way they are, their number is also reducing, very soon uh, they will join the list of endangered. So, some examples of vulnerable we can uh, uh, think like uh, like Asiatic uh, elephant. So, it comes under uh, vulnerable species. Okay, let's move to rare. Rare, uh, rare means like uh, they their population is already very less in. Okay, their population is very less and. Uh, the way they are same like the way we have discussed about before since uh, population is also less and uh, hunting is going on illegal effect uh, there are many illegal factors because of this because of which their number is reducing so if it is goes on uh, the same way they will join the list of vulnerable okay next we have endemic okay here please uh, listen nicely endemic means these are the species which are limited to some certain areas like uh, the kind of circumstances, the kind of environment they need to live, to need to survive. Uh, uh, if we want to migrate them from that place to another, it's not possible. They won't be able to survive. For example, 
uh, uh, like uh, in India we have Arunachal Pradesh. Hope you all are aware about this. In Arunachal Pradesh we have a species like uh, it's Mithun. It seems like cow. Exactly it's not a cow. A kind of cow. So what kind of environment it need there? Uh, if you try to take Mithun to Punjab or Raisa or any other places, it won't uh, it won't be able to survive. So it is limited to that area. In the same way, we have some species in uh, like polar areas. You know, polar the cold areas. They can't come to the next area. The species which we have on the man, they can't move to the other areas. Okay. So they are limited. They are isolated to some specific areas, and they cannot move. So obviously their number is less because they will not get chance to uh, breed with other areas. So anyhow their number is less. And the last one we have extinct. As it is clear by its name only they are no more in, on our earth. There was a time when we had that group like for example like Asiatic cheetah you know Asiatic cheetah we had before. Now there are no Asiatic cheetah uh, on our earth. In the same way we have we had like pink head duck. Okay okay how can we forget about dinosaurs. Now we can see, we can watch dinosaurs on movies, but right now there are no more dinosaurs. So these are some types of species. So please make sure like the way we have animals, uh, like uh, what kind of animals or species we have, if you will not protect them very soon, uh, let's talk about vulnerable. Like if vulnerable will not be protected, they will join the category of endangered. If endangered will not be protected very soon, they will join the category of extinct. Like it means our future generation will not get chance to see this and the way we are reading we are watching the movies like there used to be a dinosaur in the same way our future generation will uh, might be they uh, they need to see the picture of uh, uh, cow also might be in future they will not sorry cow we can't that is normal species might be in future the, the, the uh, they will not get chance to see uh, the face of mountain or gorillas they will just get the uh, uh, they will just read in uh, books and all that uh, they used to be mountain gorillas in future. Okay, so with this, uh, today's topic is over. Thank you so much. I have uh, I'm, I have added all the description, uh, all the details in the description box. If you want to uh, make prepare notes, you can check out from there. Thank you.